All right, y'all, let's talk about the infamous cock blocker. Cock blockers come in all different forms. They could be male, female, whatever the hell gender you identify yourself with. But the first thing I want to tell y'all is just so, you know, we all know that these situations can be frustrating. No matter what the situation, y'all, the cock blocker is just another form of a hater. The cock blocker is just another form of a hater. Right. I just want y'all to get that. That's going to help you distinguish the fact that, yo, this isn't just somebody, you know, what I'm saying they're just messing with you just because in certain situations, sometimes the cop blocker sees that, hey, possibly you might be able to pull that chick over there. They might want that girl, too. What are they going to do? Cock block. Just another hater. All right. And what do we know about haters? You leveling up, you're going to have haters. You progressing, you gonna have haters. You don't care about haters. Cock blockers can be your friends. This is why it's important for you to get rid of guys, get rid of friends, pause, that aren't like on your same wavelength. If you hanging around guys that got no ambition and they don't know about female nature and they don't wanna take the red pill, you might've introduced them to the red pill and they're like, yeah, yeah, whatever. I'ma just continue to give all these women all this validation. Listen, you need to cut those guys off. Because if you hanging around those guys, chances are females is going to see you with them and what they're going to ask, is that your friend? What you going to say? <laughs> you might just say, no, That I don't know whose man this is. You might say that. But if she sees you around this guy, they're going to categorize you as that same type of dude. You going to be the same kind of simp, the same kind of beta male. You don't want to be around these guys. Surround yourself with guys who got the same kind of mentality. They understand Okay, we going to the club tonight. We ain't finna give all these hoes this validation. You ever seen a guy in a club, right? It's a group of people. But this one dude, this one nigga just had too many drinks. He's sitting here hyping up these two hoes twerk. These females was big as hell. Water buffalo. Okay? He's sitting here hyping them up. Hey! I'm like, bruh. His friends is looking at him like, yo, what the hell is this man doing? Get your homeboy. Get your mans. You might have to force feed this nigga the red pill or get this nigga to sober up. He's sitting here hyping up two big bitches twerking. What does that make him look like to the rest of it? He's cock blocking his homeboys. That's that's a cock block right there. He need to go, right? Your beta male friends will cock block you without them even trying. They don't even know. They won't even know it. They won't even know it most of the time. You gotta get rid of them. You gotta get, you can't be around those types of people. Females are gonna be cock blockers too. We all know the female friends that come in and cop block. Most of the time, it's going to be the grenade that comes in and tries to save her girl. But listen, here's the thing about that. Some of y'all want to know how to approach women in groups and shit like that. What's going to have to happen is the best situation for when you're approaching a female and she's with her friends, you don't know how it's going to go down. What you want to do to prevent them from turning into cop blockers, you want to go up to the female you want to talk to introduce yourself get cool with her confident masculine approach so that she introduces you she gonna transition it to introduce you to her friends that keeps it from turning into a you know what i'm saying you trying to pull her out of the group her friends gonna grab her and they ain't gonna attack your ass like you a fucking predator or some shit that shit happens all the time that's why you have to have coof when you're talking about introducing yourself to a female and she with a group of friends. You got to have coof. That's the best way to prevent her friends from cock blocking. I had a situation where I was at a bar, group of females, all fucking married. Red pill that motherfucker. All married, right? They seen me. They called me over. They had food. They had all this stuff. I saw a few of the girls. They was bad. Not only am I going to enjoy your food. But I'm also getting the pick of the litter, whichever one I want to step down on. So I start talking to one of them. We start dancing, all this stuff. She twerking on me. Her friend comes up. As soon as her presence came, I didn't even see this chick yet. As soon as her presence came up, I'm like, cock blocker. I look to the right, it's a grenade. She busted. I'm like, damn, I'm gonna have to defuse this shit like search and destroy on Call of Duty. She comes up. First thing she says is, okay, this needs to stop. I'm sitting there like, I didn't say any words yet. Her friend's like, what? what? What's happening? She's sitting here talking on me while she's talking to her friend, trying to introduce me. See, because I already got cool with the rest of the girls. They all married. They all ain't shit. We already knew that. But this one came up. This was a stray frag. So she came up. She didn't know the situation. I'm like, listen, I'm already cool with the other girls. I'm like, I can finesse my way. I could charm my way into getting her onto my side. So I let her friend do most of the talking. Then I introduce myself. 
and I'm just as cool, calm, collected as possible. She's like, yeah, it's nice to meet you. You know, I thought you were a jerk at first, this and that. I'm like, you ain't even get a chance to know me yet. We just having fun over here. She's like, I see that. And I just kept doing my thing. Then she's like, oh, you're cool. You're fine. I'm like, yeah, I know. I know that. I know none of y'all ain't shit. We talk a little bit. Meanwhile, the whole time her friend is still twerking on me. I'm like, mission accomplished. Bomb diffused. With the situation with the females, y'all, that's just gonna happen. You just gotta understand that that's gonna happen. It's some things you can't help. I was in a club one time. Big six foot four chick. She was about six foot four at least in some fucking wedges or something. I don't know why she was because she was like a linebacker. I was trying to talk to her friend. She came through, hit stick my ass. She has a boyfriend and kept it moving. I'm like, damn. You know what I'm saying? There was nothing I could do about that. It's, it's going to be situations like that, fellas. Most of the time, you're going to see random niggas, though. Don't let cop blockers hold you back unless it's a big linebacker chick trying to truck your ass out of the way. If that's the case, just let that shit go, bro. It's, it's just a phone number. It's just a female. Let it go. Cop blockers ain't just going to go away. Just like haters ain't going away, the more you progress, the more of them you're going to see. It is what it is. What you can do, though, is get rid of them beta friends that's cock blocking. Get rid of those dudes. Don't let your friends be cock blocks and they don't even know what they designated as. You're a designated cock blocker, bro. You can't be hyping up two hippos in a club. If your friends dance with a bunch of fat chicks, get rid of them.